If somebody like Tim the Tapman was to call out a cheater in Call of Duty Warzone, who is a big streamer, then that would cause a massive impact on the scene. And that is why I believe that Tim the Tapman stays quiet. Tim the Tapman is a bot. This guy can't even see cheats when it's right in front of him. However, he's more than happy to do spectator content where he puts out a video spectating or reacting to some of the cheaters in Call of Duty Warzone. So if he's able to see the cheaters in those videos and understand what cheats look like, why on earth does he stay quiet when it comes to other streamers using cheats? Let's take a look at a more recent clip that surfaced actually from a Call of Shame video where he was actually killed by Exact. Exact lasered them out of the sky quicker than a Rage Hacker has killed Tim the Tapman in the past. And he even went on to say that he can see why people believe streamers cheat. But he didn't actually call Exact out directly as a cheater, but there was some form of insinuation within it. I get why everyone thinks these streamers cheat. I'm in. I'm fucking in. All y'all cheat. What do you mean you're in? What do you mean you're in? You're a streamer. No, 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 no. I'm a content creator. I'm not. I'm, I'm not pro. I'm not here to drop 20 kills. No, no, that. I ain't ever. I swear to God, I have been aimbotted slower out of the fucking air than what I just felt. I found this to be very strange due to the fact that even exact reaction was that of a guilty cheater who'd been caught, especially after his teammates told him that it was Tim the Tatman he'd just killed. It almost looked like he gulped, like he shit his pants. But Tim the Tatman didn't actually call him out, he just made an insinuation as to why people believe streamers cheat, so what really does that matter? Tim the Tatman, one of the biggest names in the Call of Duty space at the moment, one of the biggest streamers on the planet at this moment in time, isn't willing to call somebody out when he's just been lasered out of the sky. You can see his initial reaction in that moment, and it's almost like he's about to call it out until he realizes it's another streamer. Shut the fuck up! He's not cheating, you're just bots! Now, Exact isn't exactly the biggest name in the industry, but it would have caused some problems if he'd have called him out, because if he starts calling one person out who's a streamer, then they're gonna have to go down that road. And it would appear that Tim the Tatman, very much like Nick Merckx and Dr. Disrespect, they're protecting their own income. They don't want to cause drama. They don't want that beef. If somebody like Tim the Tatman was to call out a cheater in Call of Duty Warzone, who is a big streamer, then that would cause a massive impact on the scene. Of him exposing a cheater live on stream just last night in a brief interview with that same supposed cheater and a third party known as Rafi, who is... And that is why I believe that Tim the Tatman stays quiet. Once upon a time, I would have sat here and told you I believed that Tim the Tatman was an innocent bystander, somebody who was playing the game legitimately, making himself look bad because people around him were cheating. I would have sat here and told you I believed he was one of the good guys in this whole war zone shitstorm. However, more things started to arise, including Tim the Tatman and how he sat there live on stream and defended Zedlina. He literally called people bots for thinking that Zedlina cheated. Shut the fuck up! He's not cheating, you're just bots! Even though Zedlina has some of the most suspicious gameplay known to mankind, Tim the Tatman sat there and defended him. But it would appear that at that time, Tim the Tatman was playing as a trio alongside Dr. Disrespect and, yeah, that's right, Zed Laner. So again, it looked like he was trying to protect his own interest. Because if they lose Zed Laner, you're just left with two guys who don't really play the game at such a high level, right? Yeah. Above me. <clears throat> yep, yep, opposite side. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Dude, his teammate fucking sniped me out of the air, dude. Buy me back. So it would appear that Tim the Tatman had something in mind. But the strange part of this was not that he defended Zed Laner at that time, but the fact that he defended him after calling Zed Laner out on a number of occasions for using a Cronus device. But also, Zed Laner offered Tim the Tatman a contact to unlock his camos, and even the response at that moment, Tim the Tatman seemed disgusted by what Zed Laner had actually said. By claiming that he was good, he did not want the contact. I'll send you the contact. Uh, <coughs> oh, Jimmy's already got his contact later. Sure. Just do you clear, want it? Do you, need it? do you actually want the contact? I actually asked right, you. Right? I'm so good, good, man. Guys, let's push bounty. I'm so good. Let's go. So why on earth, after all of those scenarios, after Tim the Tatman calling out Zed Laner for Cronus, and after Tim the Tatman being disgusted by being offered a contact 
by Zedlinger, would he go and defend him? Unless it was to protect his own interests. Shut the fuck up! He's not cheating, you're just bots! But this wouldn't be the last time that we see Tim the Tapman siding with somebody who is highly suspicious in Call of Duty Warzone. No, because further down the line, Tim the Tapman became a part of complexity. In fact, he was the frontman hiring people left, right and centre by the looks of things, because in a promo video, Tim the Tapman was included in it, almost as if he was the godfather, the person hiring these guys. These guys being the backer bros. Where the fuck are your pants? We got a lot to talk about. And that's right, the back of bros is built up of Lucky Shamu, Rapools, and Diaz Biffle. And Tim the Tatman felt it would be a good decision for him to get those guys signed with complexity. In what world is that okay? Tim the Tatman, a guy who we once thought was an innocent bystander, a guy who we thought played the game legitimately, is now putting himself and his brand on the line to defend Zed Lena, is now putting himself and the organisation he's with on the line to hire the backer bros. It all seems very strange. It all seems like maybe at some point in Tim the Tatman's career, he was corrupted. Because there was a time he called bullshit when bullshit occurred. But that doesn't seem to be the case anymore, does it? Tim the Tapman has made a couple of changes along the way, and none have been for the better. He seems to be somebody who's caught up and tied in with all of the cheating scandal that's occurring. Whether or not he's injected cheats himself, apparently that doesn't matter anymore because he's put himself in a position where he is a part of the problem. Because hiring cheaters and defending cheaters, while he has the follower base he has and the stature he has in this gaming industry in our current day, that is just as bad. So Tim the Tatman has been, and always will be, a part of the problem in my eyes. If you did enjoy the video guys, hit that thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe and turn on notifications. If you want to support the channel further, hit that blue join button. But guys, if you're on iPhone, the blue join button doesn't exist, so there is a link in the description below. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. P -p 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 Peace! No, I didn't do a fucking thing. What? <laughs> I'll send you the contact. <clears throat> Shut the fuck up! He's not cheating, you're just bots!